Hi friends. Uh, snowblower video didn't go that well. Well, the video went well, but the project didn't. So I just wanted to do a quick update on the, what we did with the with the log splitter. Um, today is going to be change the oil oil filter day because I put a new oil filter gauge in. If you recall, the other one broke. And I'll start this up and I'll show you what's going on. This is a brand new Apex camera I'm trying out. So if things don't look good, please uh, accept my apologies. I'm working on it. That filter is in full bypass. And I'll do a little bit of a warm up just to see. to me but let's give it a shot anyway we'll uh, change the filter just to see what happens <coughs> yeah sorry doing this one handed as usual I'm doing stuff one-handed. that plug it won't take oil back that's what it's doing that's terrible she's right plugged it's a wee bit dirty I'm not gonna lie holy cow oh no I only had a little bit of hydraulic oil kicking around so I did pre-fill this filter a little bit not that it matters because it's pressure return holy greasy sorry <laughs> I'm trying to do this with a selfie stick you wouldn't believe this Still says we're recording, so uh, that's as tight as I can get that with oily hands. So let's see at the comparison. I remember that was about 26, 28 pounds. Um, this will be full of dirt, so you lose about a little over maybe a quart. I wouldn't say a quart, maybe. You do lose a bit. So we'll set that there for now. And come back over. Choke. Well, there it is. Now. There's the difference. So that'll go down as the viscosity gets in the oil warms up but you can see the bypass is 25 psi in this filter so that's where we were at so there you go the filter was indeed plugged that's an APA 5051 filter sorry if I'm yelling and uh, we're good to go so 
that's it. Um, that's servicing the hydraulics on the uh, Honda 160, the GX 160 5.5 horsepower powered log splitter. Um, we did add the, uh, the the oil filter a little while back, and I just wanted to see what uh, what we were looking at as far as uh, what that goes. So I'm just fooling around with this new camera. I think this is going to be a tripod baby, but we'll wait and see. So there we are. Now you know the difference. When your filter's in bypass, it's done. She's plugged up. Now this one is not. So we are good to go. And we'll see how long it takes to to plug this one up. So I'm thinking the other one probably had four hours maybe on it. And that's not a lot considering the size of that tank. Uh, it's very small. But we're going to build the new tank for it. We're going to do the overhaul. So there you go. First filter down. That was condition-based maintenance based on the condition that the filter was plugged. So, that's it for now. Um, please like, subscribe, ring the bell. I'm going to patronize you. Yes, I am. And uh, there you go. So that's why you want to put a return line filter on your log splitter. And to top that off, you want a, a return line um, filter gauge. So that's it for now.